Hello, I am back. I think the mute button is off. So <laughs> thank you for all the messages. I was like, oh my goodness. Apparently I was not live on the stream yard, which is what I'm using to go live on multiple places. So uh, please forgive me um, if I'm repeating myself, if you guys I were able to hear me on Instagram. So I wanted to speak to you today about um, losing weight if you're struggling, right? So many of my patients, their, their main goal is to lose weight. And I will show some of my own story as we go along. Man, I'm really sorry you guys missed that. That was on a roll. <laughs> but I have some notes here. And so, of course, the first thing I'm going to mention is really going on a whole food plant-based diet. So eating a whole food plant-based diet allows you to have less calories. So you're going to be eating a calorie deficient diet or a less calorically dense diet is the best way to describe that. And so the reason I say that is because you need to be in a caloric deficit in order to lose weight. I know there are people who say, oh, you can eat as much as you want. Oh my goodness. I know there's some people who say you can eat as much as you want and lose weight, but that is not true. All right. You need to be in a caloric deficit in order to lose weight. It's just the way it works. Now, how you approach that, that's a really important factor. So this means including, <laughs> thank you, Ann, for sticking around. I'm back on it. Um, just answering some questions here. But really important thing to eat your fruits, your veggies, beans, and whole grains, really focusing in on the beans and greens, some amazing phytonutrients there and great sources of protein, which we'll get to in a minute. And then I would say absolutely continue to eat some nuts and seeds. We cannot be fat phobic, right? So when we look at nuts and seeds, people get very worried about the caloric density of these foods, but they provide such an, an amazing amount of phytochemicals that are really important, ALA rich foods. They are also a good source of protein. And so I would say if you're a woman, a quarter cup, um, if you're a man, about half a cup per day would be a great way to get started. And I would focus in on walnuts, hemp seeds, chia seeds, and ground flax. These are going to have the ALA rich component of them um, that will convert to the long chain omega-3s, which are really important for heart health and brain health. Okay. So wanted to throw that out there as well. So eat a whole food plant-based diet. Now we're going to get to the calories. So the calories are really important to you guys. You need to have a calorie deficit. Again, that's just the way it is. And it's not as simple as, oh, just cut your calories. No, what I would say, if there's a couple of things we want to do, you want to lose fat, maintain your muscle mass, because remember, that's like your metabolic furnace, right? So if we maintain our muscle mass, we can actually eat more food, believe it or not, and still lose the fat. So what you want to do is focus in on around um, a 200, 150 to 200 calorie deficit per day. Okay. And that is very moderate. So it's maybe, uh, uh, removing, you know, uh, your soy latte in the morning from, uh, Starbucks or, um, eating, you know, one less processed meal, uh, half a meal per day. Anyway, if you're focusing on your whole food plant-based diet, you can figure it out. Maybe it's instead of a half an avocado, you're eating a quarter of an avocado, right? And then you're, um, that alone might do it. So again, depending on who you are, look at your calories. You have to track them. I would use something like Chronometer or my Fitness Pal, and then see, just go ahead and start paying attention. You have to measure your food, right? And just do it for at least three to seven days to get a really good handle on what you're actually already consuming. And then you can see where you can shift things around. So if there's processed foods in there, that's the easy, that's an easy answer. Just get that out and replace with whole foods because you can eat more food volume with less calories, which Ann also mentioned, but absolutely. So you will still remain satiated. But if we go too low on our calories and we're gonna be talking about exercise, that can make you feel really fatigued and you just would really struggle to do all the things we need you to do to one, continue to build and maintain that muscle mass and, you know, improve your um, cardio performance. And we'll get to that here in a second. But again, calorie deficit of about 150 to 200 calories per day. And I will share with you my own experience. So I've never had a BMI over 22, unless I was pregnant. <laughs> um, it is typically low 21s. Um, over the last year and a half or so. And uh, I would say after turning 52, well, after turning 50, but 
I was 52 last year. I'd say I definitely noticed more of a difference. And that's definitely where more of the perimenopausal things start happening. I'll be 53 at the end of this month. And mm, just can't eat like I did before 10 years ago. If you hear some snoring in the background, by the way, that is Daisy. She's a little, that's my dog. She's thin, but she still snores. Anyway, so um, what I really noticed is that the weight, but I would just kind of hit a plateau, gained about 10 pounds more than my typical weight. So I started working with Maxime from the Fit Vegan. So check it out, fitvegancoaching.com. And I will say I've lost 13 pounds in four months. Um, most of it is the fat. I've maintained muscle or built more muscle. I'm stronger. I am faster than I was. So I have some goals, right, as to run a half marathon less than two hours. Haven't done that. Came close, but never. And I've run many, many half marathons. Um, I'd like to be able to do a pull up uh, this kind with the, you know, the lats, not the chin up, um, and multiple of them, and a pistol squat, which is basically where you squat down with one leg uh, up in front on both sides. I want to be able to do that, and that's going to require strength, right? And if I don't have to move as much of my body weight, that's even better. I don't have to pull because if you ever lift 15 pounds, 13 pounds. It's a good size. So those things can happen even in middle age, even in perimenopausal, postmenopausal stages of our life. We can absolutely do these things, but it's going to require work. And people don't like to hear that. They want to hear there's an easy way out by just eating plants and you know going for a walk. We're going to have to do things to shift our body composition, right? So to maintain your muscle mass, you're going to need to <clears throat> do some resistance training. And what mine is, is it's upper body one day, lower body a different day, and a full body on the on the third day. It's only three days a week. And then I'm running the other three days a week because for me, running is an important piece of my mental health. And it's a goal that I have. So you could do other things. You could just do the walking as your cardio or on elliptical or swimming. That's fine. But you do want to pay attention to your cardio, uh, cardio health as well, right? So your aerobic capacity increases. Um, so the... Strength training, uh, the cardio as well. So that's two of the tips there. And you really want to maintain your protein. I know a lot of the plant-based gurus and other plant-based physicians may not agree with the statement, but I think it's really important to pay attention to your protein because in a plant-based diet, <clears throat> I have definitely had patients who uh, will go a little too extreme in one food category, maybe too much fruit, right? And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with fruit. Fruit is absolutely very important and a very part important part of a healthy plant-based diet. But if you're just eating fruit, um, that can be a problem, right? You're not going to get all the protein that you need. It's very low calories. Um, you will struggle. So focusing in on your beans and your whole grains and adding some nuts and seeds, that will help definitely. Um, but I would say anywhere between a gram to 1.4 grams per kilogram of body weight. Um, and again, that will vary on what you're doing, your activity levels and your age. So you really want to pay attention to those things. Okay. So um, we've had a plant-based diet, uh, tracking your calories using a chronometer or the MyFitnessPal and keeping that at a caloric deficit of around 150 to 200 calories, maintain your protein one to 1.4 grams per uh, kilo, depending on the person and what you're doing. Include resistance training three days a week, include cardio three days a week. And one other thing that's so very important is your sleep, right? So we really want to pay attention to our sleep. Our sleep is so important for our, our recovery, which allows us to do more of the other things that we could do or planning to do, like the resistance training and the cardio. Um, I'm using a whoop. I wear it at night and it talks, it really focuses in on the heart rate variability. And that'll tell me basically the balance between a parasympathetic nervous system and your sympathetic nervous system and where I'm at in my recovery. And that's a great thing to use. For example, I ran nine miles on Saturday and it took me a couple of days instead of just one day to get up to that nice green zone of recovery to really feel confident and strong that I could do my best in my next workout. So that's something to pay attention to. The other thing I really wanted to speak to just kind of going back and up into the exercise is start small guys. So I've been a runner for a long, long time. I've run a marathon. I don't know how many half marathons, lots, um, really enjoyed that component of my activity level, but 
over the last, you know, two to three years, I built a business, then I sold it, I built another business, and so many factors moving cross country, and I really neglected my running um, as much as I should have. Well, not, I've neglected my running. I was not being a good human. I was not doing practicing what I preached to my patients. Um, I was walking. I was definitely getting a lot of steps, but I was not doing what I really desire to do. And it reflected in my stress levels and mental health. Not that I was depressed or anxious. It just makes me a better person if I go out running. And so what I did was I started um, literally with just half a mile. I ran half a mile on Tuesday, Thursday, and I ran a mile on Saturday. And then each week I increased half a mile. Um, so it went from half mile to one mile on Tuesday, Thursdays. And then on Saturdays, I added a mile. So now I'm at five miles on Tuesdays and Thursdays, which I will keep. I've, that's going to be my base. And Saturday I will run 10 miles. Right. And so from now on, this will be my base because I, like I said, I want to run that half marathon in two, under two hours. This will be, I will run no less than that on any week, unless I'm running up to a race and I'll you know, maybe pull back just a little bit, just in preparation to run my, my best race. And I want to be very, very well rested. So those are the things you can do in five mile. And I'm feeling really good. And that's the other thing that's so cool is that you feel so confident, right? When you start busting out these small incremental goals and you, then you look back, it's like, holy moly, look where I started. And now look where I'm at. Anybody can do this. It's small incremental incremental steps. You can absolutely do this. You can conquer any goal that you have by just breaking it down into the, the steps you need to do every single day. And the other thing to understand is, is it's consistency. It's not consistency for a week or two weeks. We're talking multiple months, six months, 12 months, years sometimes. But you can see rapid change by just doing some small incremental steps. So really think about that. The other pieces I want to share with the strength exercises is doing progressive overload, right? So, um, you know, when I'm starting, I think I started my bicep curls, which is part of my upper body uh, workout was 12 pounds, which is fine. Right. But before you knew it, I was, I'm doing bicep curls, multiple reps, multiple sets with 20 pounds. Some of you might say, oh, that's nothing. Well, for me, it was a big deal and I'm not competing against anyone. I'm not competing anyone about my weight loss or how I look or anything else. Honestly, I just want to see what Lori can do when she's challenged. And if you can't come and look in the mirror and be there for yourself, who else are you going to be there for? So again, at the end of the day, you just got to get started, start small and be consistent, right? And so if you're needing some help with this, I do have some recommendations. If you're looking for food, you're struggling with <laughs> maintaining or eating your food, counting the calories, you could check out Whole Harvest. Go to wholeharvest.com forward slash Dr. Marvis. Use the, co the code coupon plants, plural, 30, and you will get $30 off on your first order. And um, that food is delicious. Um, I got some uh, the other day from Mark Gossman, who's their CEO. And my husband was like, holy moly, this is delicious. And he doesn't give dish out compliments very often like that. So if, if the Marvis men think it's good, it's good guys. So check it out. I'm overwhelmed with how delicious it is, but I'm pretty easy to please, but the boys aren't. So check that out. The other one is if you're struggling with how to get started with your weights, um, and need some coaching and some other things there, check out fitvegancoaching.com. That's with Maxime. Uh, one of his packages is also an appointment with me and free blood work. So that might be an option for you. And then I would also check out the Engine 2 Foods, Rip Esselstyn's food. If you can go to plantstrong.com. Um, honestly, I think that's fabulous as well. So there's some great stuff, especially like their cornbread um, mix. Well, that's good. Yeah. So thank you, Rip, for that. I love cornbread. I grew up in the South, well, Southwest, and mm -mm, getting that cornbread good. So um, let me just see if I can check out some of these questions. Someone said, I'm glad I'm mentioning protein levels. I'm trying to lose weight at 68, average 45 grams a day. I'm concerned about the sarcopenia. Yeah, so Linda, I would up your protein a little bit. Um, I've been plant-based four years. I've been gained 15 pounds. I finally started tracking calories since June 23rd, lost 16 pounds, two more to my goal weight, calorie counting, open eyes. Thank you, Peggy. I agree. 
we overconsume food even on a plant-based diet. I don't care who's telling you differently. They ain't speaking the truth because I've lived it myself and I eat really healthy, but I was overeating from my stage in my life. So, and I'm working my butt off the last four months, but the weights come down. I've lost 13 pounds. I'm five away from what I weighed when I was 18 years old. I have not seen that weight in 35 years. <laughs> no, you can't overeat on a plant-based diet. That's nothing. There's nothing else there to say. Um, do you prescribe any particular app way to track foods? Yeah, I would definitely do the chronometer and, or the, my fitness pal. That's a great one. Um, reality always interferes. Well, it's a decision. Um, like anything else you get up, you get dressed, you go to work, you're going to have to get up, make your food. You just have to make it a priority. It is a decision. And, you know, sometimes you just need someone to be look at yourself in the mirror and say, what do I have to do to make this a priority in my life? Because your future self, five, 10, 15 years from now, will thank you for having that difficult conversation with yourself and how to make this important. Um, you're working with five pound weights. Great. So um, if you need to, you can get some additional weights. Maybe you can also do body weight training. Let me tell you, there's some great things you can do calisthenics and just moving your own body. Um, YouTube has some great ones and daily weighing. I don't weigh often. My weight starts creeping up. I weigh every single day. It will fluctuate. I will be higher some days and lower than others, but absolutely weigh every day because if it's not measured, it's not managed guys, just like your food, just like your calories and just like your weight. So, um, let's see here. Yeah. The link again to the whole harvest, it's wholeharvest.com forward slash Dr. Marbus. Um, and I think I can put that in here for you guys real quick. Wholeharvest.com forward slash Dr. Marbus. And don't forget to use the, um, code plants 30 for the $30 off discount. So, um, yeah. So, okay. I think that's it. I got patients to go see some guys. Oh, also check out drmarbus.com. I am going to be closing my glucose mastermind in a few days as we are filling up. We are more than halfway full. And so I definitely want, that's Daisy again. I want you guys to check it out. Go to drmarbus.com. If you, you, I'll prescribe you a CGM, which is what I'm wearing here. We meet twice a month for an hour for three months. And this will be a great tool to help you lose weight. Because let me tell you, there's nothing like thinking, oh, you're hungry, but you just realize huh, my blood sugar is still elevated. My body is still processing the meal I had an hour ago. So maybe I'm not hungry. Maybe there's some other reason why I'm sitting here staring at the refrigerator. So wonderful tool for behavior change. But if you're in the United States, I can see you. I can prescribe that uh, CGM. So Glucose Mastermind, I will be closing it. Check it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. My beta group and I are just having a blast. And we share our data I can see everything 24 seven, your blood sugars, nothing like it. You're going to learn all sorts of stuff. What foods affect your blood sugar, how to help you lose weight, might even help with cholesterol, hypertension, and other things too. So check it out. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys and you guys have a wonderfully blessed rest of your week. All right. Talk to you later. <laughs>